Hello again, Andre here from Peak Motorcycles. This is a video on how to replace the stock handguards on a Honda CRF 300L Rally with some Zeta or Zeta, potato, potato, depending where you're from, handguards. So the problem I have with the Honda ones is that they are very much uh, there just to keep the wind off. Um, the plastic is very flimsy. Uh, I don't think it would stand up to any crash and if anything, and the problem is is that the mount itself is connected to both levers. If you're lucky you just break the plastic of the handguard. If you're unlucky it would also take the mirrors and or the controls with it. So as you can see these are the handguards. Um, they're not particularly well secured. There's one bolt that comes through here. There's another one which is actually the same one as the clutch pivot. So there's a nut on the bottom there and then this bracket actually goes um, over the top of the, the mirror mount and then it's onto the top bolt there. So to get this one off it's that bolt, remove the mount, take the mirror off, that whole thing should come off, remove the nut from underneath there, uh, take the plastic guard off and then replace that nut so that should be easy. Round to this side it's slightly different so the one on the uh, brake side is literally just through, um, it's just one bolt that goes in through there uh, and then it's the nut underneath so hopefully that should come off and I won't need a spacer or anything to keep that in place, even though the bolt is probably long enough to do that. That's the first piece out. Okay, so that's that one off. There is a metal bushing on the bottom of there, uh, but I'm, I'm just going to leave that in the handguard because uh, it won't really serve any purpose back on the bike. That nut is just going to go back on underneath to keep the lever in place. So that's that back on. I am going to put the mirror back on it now just so I know how much space I've got uh, when I put the, uh, the handguard on. So as you can see there's actually not a great deal of difference size wise between the, between the Honda and the Zeta. So the handguards have vents in similar places just to get a bit of air circulation through while still giving some protection. And the Honda guards have this sort of embossed carbon fibre effect. I mean they really are only plastic so I'm really not sure what benefit having that look uh, does on them. The Zeta ones just feel a little bit more, um, a little bit more robust. The, the plastic's kind of a little bit harder. I'll get the rail fitted and then I'll get this handguard fitted to it. So the left side bar is made up of these components. So this is the clamp that goes around the fat bar itself. It's got an L on it. The other one's stamped as an R so you know which one is left or right. Got the handguard which I showed you before. We've got the metal bar itself with the Zeta branding on it. Um, and this end goes onto the clamp whereas this end goes into the end of the bars. Now for the bars they've got this expanding uh, alloy nut so it's basically a wedge in the end and the sleeve that goes inside the handlebars. They give you two fittings. This wider one is for steel handlebars, uh, but this, this other one with the straight through piece is for alloy bars. So for my new Renthal bars, as you can see, there's no chance that that's going to fit inside. It's just far too big. So instead, this is the one that I want. As you can see, that will fit certainly within there. So as you tighten it up, that little cam goes into the end and it expands and that allows you to, to attach the handguard. Okay, then, so to be able to get it into the bar to begin with, I'm actually just going to grip that in some pliers like that and give it a bit of a turn just to get it up to the width where it's, it's going to wedge in the end of the bars. Give that a go. Cool. So now hopefully as I do that up that is now going to grip inside. Perfect. So the next thing I'm going to do is to take the bar grip. So this piece I'm going to clamp that around the bars and try and find a bit of space where it's not going to snag uh, on the clutch. So I think I'm just going to try and route that just underneath. So then I just need that, that to go. I'm going to keep it clear of the clutch. I'm going to do it up I think in that position. So I'm just going to angle the bar so it's it's basically right on where the clutch is because that's really what I'm trying to protect. So 
There we go. So that's the one on this side on. As you can see, that's pretty much um, protecting the, the clutch lever. It's a really nice fit, actually. I did wonder whether it was actually going to be touching. But as you can see, there's you know, plenty of clearance, but at the same time, no real wasted space. And in here, that's the clamp as it bolts on there. And that really is solid. I mean, I'm reasonably confident that uh, if I go over on that, that everything is going to stay together. So the very last thing to do is to take the, the, the hand guard and bolt it on the top there. So there's just a couple of holes through that goes. And if you look on the back side of it, you can see there's actually a couple of threaded holes here and here that are going to go through the sticker to put that in place. Just punching a little hole through with my Allen wrench. There's the one on this side. There we go. It's going through the sticker. It's going to put a, a drop of thread lock on there. There we go, that is now all fitted and fully in place. Um, so as you can see, that's on there. That really is really, really solid. So yeah, really pleased with that. Um, I'm gonna go around and do the one on the other side. I'm not gonna talk through any of it. I'm just basically going to fit it. The one point where I'll stop at is where I'm gonna put the little washer in the end just to make sure that the throttle doesn't snag on the hand guard. There's that one out. I'm just holding the, uh, the brake lever in place. I'm just going to pop that back in now. So I'm just going to leave that there, just so you can have a look. So this is where the, the screw goes back on, on the underside. As you can see, there's a lot of exposed thread showing, um, but it is secure on both sides because of how it's uh, how it's mounted, but I think it's it's just that thick to accommodate the uh, hand guard when it's on. So for this side, I'm going to take exactly the same approach where we've got the bolt, the sleeve that goes over it and the wedge that goes in the end. Um, the only slight variation on this side is that where the, where the guard clamps on here, because this needs to be able to turn freely, there's actually this uh, I don't know if you can see that. There's actually a washer that goes in between, and that's just to make sure there's no friction between the hand guard and the throttle. The last thing you want to do is to come off, have the guard bend just a touch, and just snag the throttle wide open. It's the bolt that goes through first, then the washer, then the sleeve, like that. And then lastly, the little nut goes in the end, like that. Okay, so kind of same again. I'm just going to get a pair of pliers on that, open it up enough. There you go, so that's the one on the on the brake and throttle side. As you can see, there's the little washer just in there so that doesn't snag even if it's even if it grips solid. Again, only just clear, as you can see, it is going to protect that in the event of a crash. And yeah, pretty pleased with that. So I'm just going to put the, uh, the guard on the front of this and then I'm all done.
there you have it. That is how to fit some Zeta Cross Country hand guards and the plastics to a Honda CRF 300L. I hope this video has been useful. If it has, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.